There is a theory about animal evolution called Cope's Rule, which relates to how animals select their mates and the consequences this selection has. Generally, when an animal selects its mates, looking for what it considers to be a fit and healthy individual. Sometimes this can be uh, factors like extravagant hair or feathers or horns, which means the animal had surplus energy to develop such structures. Other times it could be a song or a dance or some other kind of display ritual. However, most common deciding factors are ones like size, speed and strength. If enough matings are decided upon on this basis, then as the generations progress, the offspring will steadily become larger, faster and stronger in turn. There are of course limiting factors this happening to every creature. Some creatures become larger, they may find it more difficult to actually hide from predators, or they might find it difficult to find enough food that the larger body now requires to sustain itself. Other limiting factors might be down to the nature of the creatures themselves. For instance, there is an absolute maximum size for birds to be and still be able to fly. Some things like albatrosses and condors are approaching this level. Some insects can't get any larger due to the way they absorb oxygen through their spiracles. Or well, the creature now may actually find as they get larger competing with other creatures or their food and resources. Now given that if this was all equal then there is a tendency for animals to go larger a nice example of this is when the horse, which started out as Eohippus, a dog-sized animal, which over time evolved into the substantial animal we know today. However, it may also explain the size of whales and maybe even the substantial size of dinosaurs of yesteryear. The problem for larger animals is that as become substantially larger, it takes longer to grow to a fully mature adult and the environment they live in can actually support fewer animals in a given area. So for example, a given area could support more deer than it could, say, elephants. And the elephants would take many more years to become breeding adults than the deer would. This does mean that as the individuals become larger, they also become more vulnerable to small changes within their environment. It may push them towards extinction. Such a situation is magnified carnivores who as they become larger require larger creatures to feed upon to keep them going. So whilst there may be evolutionary pressure towards a creature becoming larger it also may turn out to be an evolutionary dead end. Now Cope's rule doesn't work in all cases and it's not actually universally accepted but it certainly is an interesting way of looking at some of the aspects of evolution.